Sometimes you might be experiencing reasonless damage to your components or circuits or even you are receiving them damaged. This is very serious problem and to understand it let's perform an experiment first. First of all make your friend be seated on a plastic chair and then start rubbing a fluffy cloth on the back side of the chair in one direction like this. This is more or less similar to your uh, winter cloth rubbing to your body and generating charge on your body. Make sure your friend don't touch it to the ground directly or indirectly. After doing this process for approximately 5 minutes, touch the tester to the body of your friend and you will be observing light for very small time duration. Now what's common here is ESD which incurs heavy losses to the component manufacturers and users of an on an average 16 to even 33%. Welcome to our lab guys. We are going to talk about electrostatic discharge handling for ESD components. Let's say there is a circuit and of course a person who is carrying positive charge on his body and due to it he is generating high voltage with respect to earth. And similarly due to negative or no charge the circuit is having low or zero voltage. In general scenario the voltage can go up to thousands of volts and when the person touches the circuit his charge will flow to the circuit according to the ohms law as the potential difference is very high and resistance is smaller it will be generating very huge current flow but due to the limited amount of charge this huge current will be there for very short amount of time thus it won't affect the person but damage is the circuit well what is the solution then the solution is very simple we can clamp the person and the circuit with the earthing so that all the charge can be discharged and thus the person and the circuit will remain on the same potential and no current flow occurs while touching the circuit so is there any jugad possible let's look into it the first obvious solution comes to our mind is we can make a dedicated socket connected to earthing and we can take a wire and attaching the clip with it on one end and attaching the other end of it to our body and then we can plug it into the earthing socket thus any charge generated will continuously flow to the earthing and to keep the circuit and components discharged we can simply make our base of metal plate or aluminum paper foil like this but believe me it's going to make the situation even more worst then why it won't work and what is the proper solution let's come back to our circuit and assume that it carries some charge of 700 volts now the metal base is connected directly to the earthing so when this circuit or component touches to this plate all the charge will rush to the earthing because of the huge potential difference for a short time and it will generate very huge current spike the solution here is instead of directly connecting it to the earthing involve some mega ohm of resistance it will reduce the peak current and the component will not get damaged there are specifically designed esd mats are available in market for this specific purpose it offers some mega ohm of resistance per centimeter of distance it will also protect your circuit to get sorted while testing on it also specifically designed esd strips are available offering 1 mega ohm of resistance it will save your component getting directly discharged from you instead of the mat also use the esd bags to store your circuit and components safely from the esd damage it offers faraday cage protection for the things inside it So the conclusion is using proper ESD equipments like ESD mat, ESD bags, ESD gloves, ESD strap, ESD tweezers, ESD brushes etc are necessary. It will save your time for debugging newly designed circuits. But be careful while buying the ESD equipments like this mat is actually an heat insulation mat and not ESD mat. ESD and anti static are two different things. ESD mostly gets used for discharging the charge safely whereas anti static is getting used for a material not generating electrostatic charge. 
also the data sheet of all the components always has a section of ESD rating which helps you understand ESD sensitivity of the component. If you want us to make a separate video how to understand this section of datasheet, drop your comments in the comment section. Thank you guys. Jai Vigyan. Jai Bhai.